In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pause button in Construct 3. So just picking up from a previous video where we created a clock. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like now. So it starts at 10 and then it automatically counts down every one second. And what we want to create today is a pause button over here. And then we can control that time, stop and start it whenever we whenever we want. So let's just uh, close that down. So let's double tap and we'll add a touch plugin to start with. So come up over here. And we need a sprite. And we'll call it pause button. So just over here we we'll load up an image. So this is a, a button that I've previously created. I used Inkscape. You can obviously find plenty of pictures in places like pixabay.com or use this at the inbuilt editor over here or use paint. So first of all I'm going to right click, click on duplicate and I'm going to clear that one and then just by pressing this button then over here just go on load image and that one okay uh, so we've got two two frames here and if we go on to animation we can see that the speed is on five we want that to be on zero and also I'm going to resize it as well so I'm going to change it to 200 and I'm going to apply it to the whole animation so that will be this one and this one click on OK let's close that down and it's still looking a little bit too big but uh, we can change that there let's go over here make it about 100 Okay, so that's our objects here. Now let's go into the event sheet. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a global variable. I'm going to call it time scale GV for global variable. Initial value is zero. And what we're going to be doing is actually to control that pause button, we're going to use something called time scale. So on the start of the layout over here, we just go on system, scroll to the bottom, set time scale, and we want it to be on zero. So that's uh, paused. And we only want it to count down when it isn't paused. So let's just right click, add another condition variable so when the time scale for our global variable is equal to one and here we go touch on tap object pause button we want to set our global variable to one and a time scale also needs to be on one. And the frame for this one um, is going to be zero. So if we just come out of here, so the frame numbers are over here. So this is zero, frame zero, frame one. And control C, control V, that will just copy this over. I'm just going to change a few of these values. So when the frame is one, so that's um so the, the, the when it's frame zero it'll look like this triangle and frame one it'll be those two lines. Wanna set that to zero 
and the time scale to zero. And when the global variable is equal to zero, we need to change those frames to match. So let's set frame to zero. Let's just copy and paste that. I'm just double tapping over here. Okay. So now if we press the play button, let's have a look at what we've got. And let's press this one. And again. And one more time. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hope it helps you out.